Hi everyone. So we're back in George. I've used him a couple of times over the weekend since we found that loose wire onto the coil and everything's been good. So I'll run the camera now. I'm not even sure whether I'll put this video up but the idea is to go for another little drive. Um, I'm going to call by the Morris Miner was in the garden and we'll see whether the guy is home. So let's fire up George. Well, look how easy he starts now. He usually likes to be word over a few times. And that is cold start. I mean, I've got the choke out as you can see. Right, yeah. Let's get on the move. Oh, that is brilliant. I'm sure that's what the problem was. That's got to be one of the best start ups he's ever done. Like I say, he normally likes to churn over a bit. He probably will when he chokes in. It's just the nature of his car. Ever since I owned, I owned him before, he used to always turn over a few times. So I remember always saying, I've had quite a few moggies and some of them I've been able to start with the starting handle quite easily. I remember once trying to start George and I come to the conclusion he would never fire up because he likes to wear over a few times before he'll fire. He always has them. But as you saw from that start, the cold start, it was a uh, far up straight away so that's all good so maybe with the choke out on a cold start he may even fire up with a starting handle who knows but that's something I'm not really worried about We'll see how he does start again once he's warmed up. I definitely think that he's been playing up for a while with that loose wire. Because now he just pulls, pulls, pulls. Today, well, first thing this morning, was to get underneath George and have a look what's going on with this exhaust. See whether I can do anything about it, maybe lengthen the scrap on the back just to bring it down a touch. But we well, can make these lights on it. But it was wet this morning. rained most of the night so I ruled that out I ain't really got a lot of time now I've got other things to do but like I say we'll just pop round and see if this guy is there with the car in the garden we'll just see whether he's, what he's doing with it if indeed he's there I have been a few times now Right, we should be getting away from here now. There we go. Lay down, Gemini, please. Good girl, lay down. Obviously if you 
got no clue about anything. It's not a good but I've always found when I have had a little bit of a problem, I've always been able to suss out what it is on the side of the road. It's usually something you can fix. But like I said before, it's easier to find something when the car breaks down totally than what it is to have an intermittent bolt. Because you just don't know what it is if it's not all the time. If you guys know I'm almost back to mine now, but could have gone then if you had advised me. But no, wait till the last minute. Put the indicator on. to mine of course surface on this road. It's been like this for probably about four years at least. But because I've had the lorries up and down, up and down, doing all the state round up, they probably decided not to do it. Now it looks like where the curves got damaged with the diggers and the lorries. They're repairing all those. Once they're done, hopefully they'll get the old tarmac nice and smooth on top which will be a lot better especially for you George going up and down these pumps all the time Somewhere where you don't 
Bergs. Right, so it should be just on the right here. Oh, there's two cars there today. Looks like someone's in the car, so they might now be leaving. But we will see. Is that, you, is that your Morris? Yeah, are you doing it up? What, what are you going to do with it? So, how much? No? Pay what you want. <laughs> I will do. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Oh, well, you heard what he said. So, Obviously he said what you're offering, which sometimes means he's not bothered, sometimes means he's going to want more than a swap. Dog there, just like you, Gemini. Good girl. Blimey, the times I've uh, been there and never seen anybody. Today I've actually caught someone when they're leaving. But at least one thing, we know he's, he wants to get rid of it. So even if I don't want it, if there's anyone out there interested, I might be able to find out what he wants for it, what's going on with it. It might help someone else out. Spare parts or something, but we will see. It's just nice to catch someone, wouldn't it? someone working on it, whether that was him or whether it was someone else. But judging by the other car at the back there, he obviously used to dabble in cars, maybe he's, he just can't be bothered anymore or whatever. So, I've got a feeling he's not going to break it. But if he does, then he don't want for the parts, that could be a bits and bobs I could have on that. Like I said, I like those wheel trims. The door would probably fit. But I'd obviously need a closer look at it. It might be just as bad as George. The bottom might be right out. I've only had a little look at it. You can't go poke and prod when you just pop around, can you? You, you need to have permission. <coughs> you need to have permission to have a look at people's cars. Now I think I'm going to be able to have a bit better look at it and obviously find out a bit more about it. Caravan is right.
won't go back at mine. It's not raining at the minute. So maybe, yeah, Gem and I know where we are, don't you? Maybe, we might have a few minutes to have a quick look underneath the back. Maybe, see if I can do something with this in yours. I know today it hasn't knocked at all. But that's normally the K centre. But like I said before, I wasn't doing it um, before, and then suddenly it start doing it. Why does things happen like that? Let's just see how it'll restart. Same as normal, really. So you don't like starting on a short start. He always likes to whirl over a bit. Whoa. Weird, isn't it? Maybe the carburetor needs a few adjustments. I haven't really touched that carburetor since the day I bought it home because apart from the fault we just had, it's been really good. Maybe I'll have a check of the timing as well. But Speaking of time, I ain't got a lot of time now, so let's see if I can get Gemini sorted out and then have a quick look what's going on with the exhaust at least. Catch you in a minute. 